New at 10, the Junior Fencing Olympics have begun in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we have a couple of local athletes who are representing. KIMT News 3's Sorrell Carre had a chance to speak with the Junior Olympians before they headed off for the competition about how they're feeling. Two Southern Minnesota athletes, Lila Reed and Mateo Wilkins, are headed off to Charlotte, North Carolina for an astounding opportunity. They've been training for the Junior Fencing Olympics. Both have been at Bamber Valley Elementary School practicing for the competition and tell me they've been working on giving it their best before going to Charlotte. Usually I, I go to practice every day, Monday through Thursday, and then even before practice or after practice, I'm going to the gym to lift weights. Um, and then Fridays and the weekends, I'll go up to the cities and get some more fencing in. Uh, after school, I work out at my house, and then I come here every day, Monday to, through Thursday. And if I don't have a tournament on the weekend, I go to the cities to fence. South YEL Fencing Alliance has been training Reed and Wilkins for many years, and the two say the Alliance has been a key player in helping them get to this point. This has been my club since I first started fencing. My dad is the coach, um, and I'm just thankful for my teammates. I wouldn't be able to be in the position that I am without my teammates, without the work that we all put in. It's not just an individual thing. Like We all, we all put in this work, and I was lucky enough to make it and perform well enough to qualify for the Junior Olympics. Um, I'm, I'm going to take everything with me, like, try to be like really positive because coach helps me like to be positive. Mateo's dad, South YEL coach Kamau Wilkins says it's been an honor preparing Mateo and Reed for such a major moment. They give me an opportunity to be a better coach, learn how to do that better for all future kids um, because they're special athletes and uh, when you have special athletes uh, you're really lucky as a coach. This will be Mateo's last chance to compete for the Junior Olympics as he's 19 and says he wants to continue his fencing career at Lawrence University. Reporting from Rochester, I'm Cyril Cray, KIMT News 3. The tournament began on the 16th and will run through Monday, February 19th.